In this video, we are going to go over the most common methods used to design and uh, build a roof in the United States of America. I would have thrown in other countries, but I do realize they have some uh, different roof designs. So this is an extremely common method that will be used to um, build a variety of different homes, wood framed, metal, block, um, brick, stuff like that. It's a simple method. It's, uh, for example, this building here has four walls and the roof has two sides, unlike a hip roof that would have four sides. And then, of course, you'd have to work with the, um, the hips on the roof. With this right here, you could see where the roofer could, could do it. Um, assemble this roof a lot faster and the home builder, the framer, could frame the rafters a lot faster and install the sheathing, install the fascia board, a lot of that. Only problem with this type of design that you're going to run into is this area up here on a hip roof. It might take you a little more work to build the roof, um, but it's going to be less um, labor intensive and, and less materials to build the walls because they aren't going to have this particular area here. So there it is, your hip roof. And like I said, I think this is the most common method because it is easiest to assemble. Next up on the list is the hip roof, and I believe it uh, is probably the second most popular design. And uh, again, with the hip roof, you're going to have a little more work on the roof. You got four sides to work with, but your the walls are going to um, be a little less work. You know, if you have an eight foot building, there's a good chance you're going to be able to do this with, uh, depending on the height of the uh, worker, obviously. But uh, you could do something like this with a small ladder. You're not going to need to use any scaffolding. So when I say that uh, it's going to take a little more work on the roof and a little less on the walls, I've never taken the time to figure out what would be more cost effective. Um, and it would depend upon the materials used for the walls and the roof. You know, for example, if you're going to use some type of uh, clay tile or something, an, exp an expensive roof tile, but uh, stucco on the walls, then you might want to go with a gable roof. If you're going to use composition shingles and some type of redwood siding, then you would probably want to go with a hip roof. So expensive siding um, and less expensive roof, maybe you're going to want to deal with um, the roof, spend a little more time working on that uh, because it would be cost effective. And <clears throat> I hope that makes sense to you. Top view of the roof, here are the four hips, the ridge, and that is that roof. This would be the third most popular, and this would be where you uh, combine a hip and a gable. A lot of times you'll see a hip roof, and it's hips all the way around the roof. Um, and uh, you might have some dormers or something up here, or uh, some type of a Dutch roof or something like that but uh, most of the time if you have hips you rarely have a, uh, a hip and then a gable so this kind of be I'm what I'm, I'm gonna call a combination gable roof and hip roof so I'm not saying you don't see them trust me I've uh, worked on plenty of them they just don't seem to be as common as one or the other so um, and again this breaks up the design this might be something the architects gonna want um, to see uh, for a variety of different reasons. I mean, they, you might want it this. You might want this to be in the front of the house. Maybe this is your garage door. The architect wants it to look a little larger, where something like this might uh, look a little, a little less imposing. So it really would depend upon the look you were you were trying to to get. So there it is from the from the top we have a valley here a the ridge here gable end over here another hip coming off of here a ridge here and then of course two more hips so that is it for this video i am going to make a few more videos i'll put a link here at the end of the video for um, some other design ideas for roofs i've seen that there are a lot of different designs that people uh, might not have heard of or might not be commonly used and then of course my goal is to eventually write a book to um, show you how to build a variety of different types of roofs 
So that is the goal for the video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button and it is off to the next video.